All right, guys, today we're looking at the ProLam Plus 330. This is a great little laminator. Today I'm just going to show you a couple basics on how to get this thing up and running when you pull it out of the box. The first thing we're going to look at here is the power switch. You got an on off switch right here, it turns the power on. Whenever this power switch is on, the motor will be turning. You have a forward and reverse switch here. You can uh, run the machine without the heaters on. So you have a heat button here, which turns the heaters on. And then over here, you have a dial, which adjusts your uh, temperature here. So we're just gonna set it here uh, in between like 266 and 284. Should be adequate for the little test that we're gonna run on this machine. And uh, yeah, we'll let it heat up. When it heats up, you'll have a ready light right here that comes on. And uh, it's pretty straightforward. There's a reverse uh, function here. In case you get a jam, if it starts going in and it's not coming out the back, you can uh, just hit the reverse and hopefully it'll prevent a jam and it will eject what you put in. And uh, so yeah, let's let it warm up and uh, we'll start laminating. All right, now that we have our ready light on, looks like we're ready to laminate. So what I have here is just a basic uh, three mil pouch here we're gonna use for testing and one of our little test sheets here. And I'm gonna use a carrier on this. I always recommend using a carrier, uh, no matter what your application is. It's better on the rollers and the machine, and you'll get a better product overall. So we're just gonna put our piece of paper in the pouch here, open up our carrier, stick that in, and uh, let's put it in. All right, here we have it. Let's open it up and see what we have here. As you can see, we have a laminated uh, piece of paper now. So as you can see, some of this has uh, got some specs or spots in it or whatever. This is somewhat typical on this type of machine and in a, in a pouch machine for that matter. Um, but as you can see, the actual uh, product is looking good. So we'll go trim this out and put a border around it. All right, so we have our final product here. I just went and. Uh, Cut some borders around it. You can see it's looking pretty good. I'm happy with that. So now what we can do is just turn the heaters off. And um, I recommend letting the machine run maybe five or 10 minutes to let it cool down before you completely turn it off and stop the rollers. Um, that's always a general rule of thumb. And if you guys have any issues with this machine, um, we'll take a look at the fuse right now and I'll show you where the fuse location is. And again, if you guys have any questions or comments, uh, post them down in the comments below and I will try to answer those as soon as possible. All right, one last thing here, guys. This is the back of the machine here, and as you can see, it says fuse here. And if you take a small screwdriver, maybe even a pocket knife, you can kind of insert it in there and kind of pull out a little bit, and you can see how this exposes the fuse here. And you could find this fuse uh, most likely at any hardware store, or auto parts store. Um, it's just a simple uh, fuse. It's a tin app that it's recommended to put in here. So if you guys lose power or go to turn this on and it just doesn't come on, first thing to check is this fuse right here in the back. All right, guys, I hope this video was helpful. If you guys have any questions or comments about this machine or any other machine for that matter, post them down in the comments below. I will get back to them as soon as I can. If you guys are looking for any lamination products, visit Oregon Laminations uh, website. And uh, we're also on Amazon and, and all that good stuff. So uh, until next time, folks.